the law of sines. The law of sines is a formula that we're going to use to solve triangles that are not right triangles. Now we have two types of triangles that we're going to be looking at. The first one is going to be where the there's an angle that's bigger than 90 degrees and this is called an uh, obtuse triangle. And then the other one is going to be where all three angles are less than 90 degrees and that is called an acute triangle. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to label the angles of a triangle with capital letters A, B, and C. And it doesn't really matter which one you call A, which one you call B, and which one you call C at all. And then the sides opposite of these angles is going to be named with the lowercase version of that letter. So the side opposite of A is little a. And then we have little b and little c on both of these triangles here. I'm going to have to write this c tiny. Okay, now we're going to have five cases. Um, side angle angle, which is two angles in the side opposite one of them. Angle side angle, two angles in the side connecting them. And side side angle, which is two sides in the angle opposite of one of the sides. These are the three cases that are for law of signs. We will do the first two cases in this video. In the last case, side angle angle is also known as the ambiguous case and it gets its own little video. Now, the other two, side angle side and side side side, those are going to be law of cosines, which is going to be another video also. Okay, now let's look at the formulas. Now, the law of sines um, is a sine of a side B equals sine of, I mean, over side of B, excuse me, equals a C sine of C. Now you use this formula if you're looking for a side. Okay, if you're looking for a side, you're going to use that formula. Now you can reciprocate this whole set of formulas here and put the angle stuff on top. So sine of angle A over side A, sine of angle B over side B, and sine of angle C over side C. You're going to use this when the first thing you want to find is an angle. Okay. Now, obviously you're not going to use all three pieces. You use two of the three pieces of each of these formulas, depending on what you're looking for and what you have. So let's look at an example. Say that we have um, angle B is 48 degrees, angle C is 92 degrees, and side C is 5. So we have an obtuse triangle here. So I'm going to try to draw a triangle. That's good enough. And this is the largest angle, so that's going to be C. I'll call this A and this B up here. And here's side C, which is 5, and we are missing side A and side B. Now, um, let me circle what we're looking for here. Makes it easier to spot. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to find is angle A because it is the easiest of everything. Because the sum of the angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees. If you know two of the angles, you're just going to take 180 minus those two. So 180 minus 48 minus 92, and that's going to give us 40 degrees. All right. Now, we need to find side A and side B. There's no particular order for this procedure, so I just use alphabetical order. So I'm going to find side A first. So I'm going to have A sine of A, because that's what I'm looking for is side A. And I have um, the information for the C's. So we're going to do C over sine of C. Now I prefer to solve for what I am looking for before I plug the numbers in. And so I multiply both sides by sine of A, and of course it would cancel on the left. Now, A equals side C sine of angle A over sine of angle C. That's going to give us 5 times sine of 40 degrees 
over sine of 92 degrees. And when you put that into your calculator, round to the first decimal place, you get 3.2. Now, since this is not a right triangle, we cannot use the Pythagorean theorem to find side B. So we're going to do the exact same procedure, B sine of B. And we're going to use the same piece of information, C sine of C. It's best to use the given information whenever possible. Okay. Now, solving for side B, you get B equals C sine of angle B over sine of angle C. So that's going to be 5 sine of 48 degrees over sine of 92 degrees. And that would give you, when you round to the first decimal place, 3.7. Okay, now this case was the side angle angle case. Let's look at the angle side angle case. So what if we have A equal 5 degrees and B equal 10 degrees and side C equal 5 again? Now since A and B are such tiny angles, we know we have an obtuse triangle again. Okay. And if you wish, you can draw yourself a picture. Now, I obviously made my angle A and B on this triangle way too big, but sometimes it's better to exaggerate so you can actually see what you're doing. So what we need to do is find angle C, side B, and side A. Now, angle C is going to be, of course, the easiest of the three items. We're going to take 180 minus 5 degrees, minus 10 degrees, and that's going to give us 165 degrees. Now, let's go in alphabetical order again. So let's find side A. So we're going to do A over sine of A equals, um, let me see, we have to do C. That's the only possibility here. Whoops, I wrote 5 instead of C. Let me just erase that real fast. Okay. C sine of C. Solving for A, that gives you A equals C sine of A over sine of angle C. And that is 5 sine of 5 degrees over sine of 165 degrees. It is very important to put your degree marks in, by the way. And rounding to the first decimal place will be 1.7. Now, for side B, we're going to have B over sine of B equals, I'm going to use the same thing, C sine of C. So B is going to be side C sine of angle B divided by sine of angle C. So 5 sine of 10 over sine of 165. And that's going to give us, when we put that into our calculator, 3.4. Now, we're going to do the ambiguous case this um, on another video, the end.